Hey you guys, Misty here today, and I'm going to go ahead and record and color a little bit in the Retro Deco book I got, and it's by Carla Magana, and we'll do a flip through also after I color a little bit. We're going to color this one right here, and I'm thinking about going with darker skin on her. Um, I was thinking about going lighter, I mean like you know like a wild color but i think i'll just go with a natural color maybe this color right here or the brown color so we'll go ahead and record this on film and um color a little bit here i got this uh book yesterday i wanted to color a little bit in it I hope I'm picking the right color. I hope. So, I was going to, you know, I was looking at people's colorings on Facebook, the group. And the group uh, for Carla. And, um, yeah, it's, I love the skin. That's why I was like, well, maybe I should go with green or blue because people give you really pretty colors but for this one for some reason I wanted to go with brown so that's what we're going to go with I'm using the Arteza Everblend marker uh, for skin I've got the set that's for skin and this is what this is out of the set and the color is uh, Rusty Rose Rusty Rose. Really cold this morning. Do I build a good fire? So I had to add some sticks to it this morning. Also, winds are blowing pretty good. This is supposed to be in the 50s today here in North Carolina. So it's getting a little bit chilly. I wanted to, there's some things I want to record. I was wanting to definitely also color this one and what i could of it and we can record here even if i can't think of much top of it it's okay we'll just get on here and color think of something i'll mention it i need to color more of her pictures definitely let's see now I want to go back and fix this something I shouldn't have went over this with brown but I did but we'll go over it with something maybe hopefully get a sparkle pot pen and go over it maybe with something a color I might have to make her lips sparkle pop, maybe. Depends on what I do here, I guess. Let's see how this dries a little bit so it won't get any lines in it. Let's go over this again with a, a darker brown. Because it might not dry good. Well, with the same color anyway. Let's go back over it. That's what we'll do. So it'll blend in good together. There we go. Oh, yeah.
there's that. Ooh. Might be too dark. Purple? Maybe too dark on it? Sure. So I probably should have you know that is purple. Uh oh. Let's do that. I never plan ahead, you know, uh, when I do the chat, I just go with whatever colors I pick, you know, on it, pretty much. She does look like she should have purple hair also. Maybe purple and red. Or purple. Hmm. Purple and dark purple. Like the colors I used on her um, face, maybe. Used also on her hair, I guess. And then I'll go and hopefully work out. Let's see how it looks. I'm using Kelly Art markers now. I just used uh, Arteza Everbland on the skin. They just go with this purple here and hope for the best. Yeah, the only thing I hate about Kelly Art markers is they bleed. Uh, they're good markers now, but they bleed. Yesterday, you know, the, the Cola tape notes I used, they didn't bleed much or the big markers, but I was wanting to use my Kelly Arts on this. Now, I just have to be careful with it. Okay. 
I hear that wind blowing. Starting to get cold. Felt like it was going to snow this morning when I stepped outside. I let the dogs out. And it was too cold for me to go out. I didn't even try it. I just let the dogs outside to potty. I didn't even try it. I think what would be easier is to just go over all this with this color and then go back and put some of the darker purple in there. That's what I think I think would be best to do because of the bleeding of the marker that's going on here. So that goes, I think it's a pretty purple, isn't it? Let's see what color it is. What is this one? Curly Art Purple. Uh, I'm just, yeah, I can't hardly really see that. J A K A R A N D A. Jacaranda. Oh my. Something to that effect, guys. I don't know. Where do they come up with these names for these markers? My goodness gracious. Let's get me right now. Let's go around here with my best blue pen. Here, let's just do this. I think so. One thing I can't stand is a bleeding marker that goes over the edges. And this is a good marker, but I hate that you get that bleeding over. I mean, I have to go back and try to cover it up and fix it. It was a hard decision to try to pick which one I wanted to color on here. Because there are several in here that's really good. And it was hard to decide which one to pick. And we chose this one. It takes a little while to color the hair on here, but I actually like this color, guys. It's a pretty, it is pretty. It's nice.
Yeah, let's go here. This is what I dread right here. This dab of hair. What are we on here? Well, it's good on camera. 16 minutes. I think doing it this way helps with the bleeding a little bit on markers. Maybe, anyway. I hope. Right there. No, it's okay. That's more dry out there, sweeties. Don't be too upset. Don't get too upset now. Oh, this is getting a little on my hair. I'm just highlighting it. Yes. That's all right. See, I kind of want to draw those lines too with the marker. I think me and Mama decided, and uh, Dwayne was talking last night, and uh, maybe, you know, if it all works out, uh, uh, Dwayne said we could go to pizza Sunday and order pizza, and then take it over to Mama's and eat it for Mom and Dwayne's birthday, because they're close together, because Mom's is Sunday and Dwayne's is Monday, and my Uncle James's birthday would have been, um, on Dwayne's birthday, he died in 2007, and then he was turning 44 in 2007. It would have been his birthday on Dwayne's also. Color a little bit more in the hair here. 
because Dwayne don't really like subs, so we decided on pizza. I might order two of them. I'm not sure. Have enough. Pizza Hut's pretty good. They all on their pizza. Pretty good. And I like um, Papa's Pizza breadsticks, but there's the closest one that the closest Papa's Pizza is is uh, in Murphy. There's one in Murphy. There's one in Robbinsville, but that's pretty good ways from us. <laughs> That winds are blowing, guys. Keep saying that, but boy, it's a blowing. It is. You might have to turn on the kerosene heater. I need to call Daddy and see if he wants to go up half hours to trim Tiny's nails. Might be too cold to do it, though. I do like the way these pins feel in your hand when you're coloring. Definitely. My first set of alcohol markers I bought was Parkoos. And I seen them on um, Ann's channel. Call for Life. I used them a while. And then I bought the Artezas, Everblends. And now I've got the Kelly Arts. I went ahead and gave the rest of my parkours to Betty yesterday because a lot of them was drying up and I hated to get in the middle of the picture and then the markers just go out. So I told her that just, you know, check them and see how they do beforehand before using them. So I give her those. The alcohol markers on the parkours. And they're okay, like I said, but the lids is just awful. Some of the lids just are hard to come off. I don't think I'll buy them again, the parkours. But I did like them at first, because I guess because it was my first alcohol markers, you know, pretty much. And I like the Everblend markers, but you know, you get a lot of yellow from them. Lead through on other pages. It's yellow. So far, I haven't had that happen with these the Kelly Arts here. Okay. Took a little while on her hair, but I think we got it. I think I'll color this purple here. There, I finally got it. Whew. 
Now let's see. are we? 25. 25 minutes? Okay. I don't like this pink. It's pretty and bright. Pretty and bright color. Colors is nice on certain pictures. You color better than others. Oh, now we got an earring to color. Now we have a earring to color. Might have to go in here with some green too because I'm like, you know guys, I'm liking green now. Don't you? Okay. It's fun to color. Nope, 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 nope. No, we might just leave it yellow. You know? And then the background will color back on and I got my camera on here um the background what color should we color the background orange what would that be we need a bright color to make it pop or something hmm red wouldn't look good would it Oh, this is hard to do now in the background. It's hard to know what to do. Put a green in here, of course. And end up picking some ugly colors here for background. That green and orange goes good with uh, black skin. So it might work out. It might. I don't know what to do on it. I just don't know. Black might look good. Just black. A dark black color. Maybe. Might do good on it. For the border, maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe a black. Even though I want to make it pop. I just don't know. Oops. Uh.
might just go with black. Just might do it. I just might do it. I hope I'm making the right choice. Mm, it's a that rain. I mean, it's a. Well, this part here might be black, and then the other one might go with something else. I don't know. Because there's a little square right there, you know, a line. So. I might just go with black in this area. It's a hard choice what to do. It's too dark. Hard choice, guys. It sure is. Really hard choice. Why am I liking green so much? Green. Oh my goodness. Why am I doing this to myself? Uh, crazy, ain't I? I'm absolutely crazy for I want green. My pictures, I want green, yellow, pink. Used to, I didn't care for none of these colors, but now, I don't know what it is. Just don't know what it is. I'll have to go back over this in a minute, probably. I'm going to go with this. Oh, well. Sorry that I'm not chatting too much. I'm just concentrating on this one. I have to concentrate on it more. But I hope you guys are having fun and coloring with me. Well, it's turning out alright, I guess. Is that still in frame here? Okay. I don't think I'll go over her skin with pencil either. I was thinking about it. I have my pencils here ready just in case. But I don't believe I will. She looks okay without it. Without the pencil. Definitely green. Get a smaller tip now. I'm 
I'll turn this. I might not like to turn the book around. Like I said, I picked some of the weirdest colors out of my. I guess in a way I'm glad I didn't go all the way with the black. No. Now I'll leave this lid off so I could have to go on this bottom here with a smaller tip. Okay, let's see now. Let's see. Ooh, the doozy. Ooh, let's go down here. work on this background in just a second. I think I'll get some sparkle pop. I'm going to go a little bit on it with sparkle pop. Located my sparkle pops, and here's my cap. I have my sparkle pops in. Need to go over this. A little bit of sparkle pop. I guess, well, this is not really the sparkle pop, it's the moonlight jelly roll on this. Moonlight jelly roll. Ooh, that wind is blowing. I wonder, I hope that power don't go off. I keep saying the wind's blowing, guys. <laughs> okay. I keep saying it, don't I? We have um, solar pop here. I've used these a lot. I have been using them to color one picture. I really have. Okay. I didn't think I would use sparkle pop, but I am. I have I have been using them on um, this one picture pretty much. Well, I really think you know I think it's a good idea to add the blue in there I just felt like I need to 
time right here. So this is nice. You can put a little sparkle in here and you can add some blue also. This one's about out. I've used them a lot on just one picture and colored a whole picture with them. That's something, but I did on one. I can't remember which picture it was. I used all sparkle pop mostly. I cannot remember, guys, what it was. Okay. That's better. Blue and our purple hair. I guess so. Never know what we'll do on here, do we? Maybe this will be okay. Add some, put some blue in here with the purple. I don't know. Oh, somebody's calling me. Sorry about that. That might be mom calling me. will be good. I do. Even though I decided to put some blue in there. I still think it'll work good. And um different. That might be alright. Alright. A little bit of blue in there. A little bit. Alright. Then I'll finish the background and I'll be back to show you guys the result of it. I'll go ahead and show you guys the flip. I hope this is okay. 
We have a flip here. Take the paper out a minute. Let's see. It's a beautiful book. I'm going to zoom in so you can see it closer. Closer up. I want to color this one also. Beautiful. Look how pretty. You've got my marker case in front of my book here. But I got it zoomed in pretty good so you can see this wonderful art. It's really nice. All of it. It's a good book. And here's your test your supplies page. Test your supplies. And that's it. So I'll finish that background on that page. And then I'll come back and show you guys the background. But I'm not going to go over this with the pencil. As far as I know, I'm not. I hope that looks good. That little sparkle in there. So we'll be back in a minute with the background. Okay, guys, here she is. So, I hope, I hope you guys like her. I added a little bit more of a sparkle pop to her hair and on her eyes. And I really hope she turned out okay and you guys like her. And I hope the background's alright. And she's got some sparkle pop there. You can see it. So thank you all guys for watching and we will be back again. Love you all. Have a good day. Bye.